Whether it's the holidays, a family reunion, or just needing a place to crash when you're from out of town, there's a good chance you'll be a house guest at one time or another. Want to make sure you're invited back again and again? Then there are some basic house guest rules you need to follow. Image and etiquette coach Treva Graves is here with some do's and don'ts for house guest etiquette. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for having me. So what does our house guest etiquette say about us as a person? Well, it can say a lot about you as a person. I've always felt that it's so appropriate to uh, bring a small token of appreciation because they're inviting you into their home. And so um, if you show them your respect and uh, appreciation that, that you're there, that's just another feather in your cap. So tell me about the pineapple and the significance of this. Yes, well the pineapple is significant. This dates way back into George Washington colonial times. And back then, the pineapple was considered something of wealth. So if a family was having another family over for dinner, many times uh, the family invited over would bring fruit. And if a pineapple was within that fruit basket, it was a sign of wealth. And so uh, the pineapple has kind of st stood the test of time because even today, you will still see pineapples on napkins, dish towels, even in salt and pepper shakers, sheets, um, woodwork of homes. So the pineapple has become a symbol of hospitality. So what are some other examples of gifts you could bring if you're going to be a house guest? Yes. Well, a bottle of nice wine is always appropriate. Um, anything between that $15 to $20 range is good. You don't want to be cheap, but you don't have to spend a fortune either. Uh, another thing that I like to do is uh, maybe put together a little gift basket of some gourmet food items, maybe some pasta, um, a nice jar of red sauce, uh, a loaf of uh, French bread. That's always nice to give as a gift as well. So when we are staying somewhere and we're a house guest, what are some things that we can do and that we should do? You should always uh, offer to chip in. Maybe it's serving the meal, maybe it's cleaning up, but always um, offer to help out. Um, arriving on time and leaving on time is also appropriate, uh, especially if you're spending the night or the weekend at someone's home. Uh, hosts want to know when you're going to leave as well. So leaving on time is, is, is a good idea. Always be considerate of their home. You know, cleaning up after yourself, making sure the bathroom is clean, even making your bed in the morning if you're spending the night. Uh, and always ask about if there's any house rules. You know, who knows what those could be, but maybe they don't uh, want you smoking in their home. Uh, you know, maybe Maybe it's, you know, breakfast is served at a certain time. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Another thing um, that I would um, also think about is to bring your own toiletry items. Uh, it is not your host's responsibility to provide shampoo and toothpaste and those types of things. So always bringing your own is good. Always respect their personal space. Uh, you are a guest in someone else's home. Uh, so I wouldn't be, you know, snooping around or, you know, doing anything like that. Um, and, and keeping your shower short and uh, maybe using the same towel a couple of times is a good idea. You don't want to create a bunch of laundry for them either. And what about some don'ts? Well, some don'ts. As I mentioned, um, don't be snooping in cupboards or closets. Uh, I think we all know that we're not supposed to do that. Um, don't be expected to be entertained all the time. Um, it's not their, their job or the host's job to worry about, you know, oh my gosh, is she happy or, you know, what should we do next? Um, it's just fine to relax and sit and chit chat. Um, don't be a freeloader. We've kind of talked about that a little bit. Um, you know, always be willing to help out. Maybe that's even buying um, a few groceries or giving them a gift card. Uh, to, to buy some groceries for the next meal. And one of the biggest things, too, is we all have, well, lots of us have pets. So don't expect your host to host <laughs> your pet. Uh, it's, it's a good idea to leave your pet at home, board it at a kennel, or have someone come and watch it while you're gone. And then when we're done and we're leaving, how can we properly say thank you and show our appreciation? Yes. 
always a verbal thank you is, is a must. Um, if you really want to impress someone, I would write a handwritten thank you note uh, after you leave. Uh, that is something I think that makes a very good impression on, on whoever the, your host and hostess is. So going through these things, I'm sitting here thinking, do you think that the awareness for house guest etiquette has changed and kind of lowered? Because when I think of things when I go to my friend's house, I don't bring shampoo. It's just, mm -hmm. it's more of a comfortable thing and you've been friends for so long, but do you think that this has changed over sure. the years? You know, I think it probably has somewhat changed. You know, again, our culture is much more relaxed and not as formal as it, as it once was. But if you are going um, to, uh, you know, your significant other's parents' home or a home that maybe you're not visiting as much as you would a friend's house overnight, I do think that it's very appropriate to always offer um, a gift or a token of appreciation um, and having them have you there. Do you think that people, too, are just not as confrontational? Because maybe people are coming into your house and not respecting your house, but we just don't want to bring it up. Do you think that's another aspect of it? Um, it could be. Could be. Uh, but I've always just felt that um, even when I go to, um, you know, my, my friend's house, I'm always bringing a bottle of wine just because I just think it's appropriate. And if we aren't following house guest etiquette and their rules and things like that, can this affect our relationships with the people that where we're staying? Yes, I think it definitely can. Uh, I think that, you know, maybe, maybe they might look at you a little differently or think, well, gee, I've just had this person come in my house and they've eaten all my food <laughs> and they don't make their bed and the bathroom's a mess. Um, yeah, it can definitely affect how somebody looks at you. When you're planning your stay and going somewhere too, is there a certain time frame that is kind of overstaying your welcome? I would always, uh, before you arrive at the, uh, the host and hostess home, I would always keep in mind, okay, I'm here for, I'm gonna arrive on Friday night, I'm leaving on Sunday afternoon. So I think that's always predetermined, typically before, I guess for myself, before I'd ever go and stay with someone. So they know when I'm leaving. Because maybe they're ready for you to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and for all of these house guest etiquette tips that we just got and talked about, does this also determine if it's like a family or friend on what you need to be aware of? Do you think it changes? Um, not, not really, no. I think, uh, like I said, I just think that it's appropriate to, to be respectful. Uh, these are people that are inviting you in, in your home, and um, it's just a nice token of appreciation to give them something to, sh to show your thanks. All right, a lot of great information. Thank you so much, Trevor, for coming in today. Thank you.